like I feel like I'm pretty stable. Okay. Um, and um, I have I haven't had great success in relationships either. Okay. So let's go for it. <laughs> Why do you think that is? I think I might be too independent. I think my dad has raised me to be like that. Okay. So I'm a homeowner. I'm in a doctorate mm -hmm. program right now. Okay. Um, I think that's difficult for a lot of people. How old are you? 36. Okay. So yes, homo it's like one of the things that is difficult is why so many women, Western women have delayed marriage. Anything that you've done, could you not have done it while you were married to a man? I think dance specifically, it's a little tricky to do that when you have kids, you're giving up something, right? So you see even celebrities that are dancers like J-Lo, right? They're not yeah, having- Yeah, well, kids. dance in particular, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's a sacrifice. I have to completely put anything that I want to do on hold. So how far do I want to get along the the dating and the marriage line if um, I'm not prepared to like have kids right then? Because that's an expectation, right? Well, it's like, first thing I think about is Las Vegas and New York. How did women 40 years ago navigate these things? Showgirls dancing on Broadway, how they navigate still having families? That's a good question. I don't think I have that answer. But they did though, right? Because those women were not yeah, they did. all... Huh? I mean, I, I said, mean, yeah, they did. Right. So if they could do it, that would be a template. That's what I mean. Because my first thought is nothing that a woman is doing today necessarily precludes her from having a wife, I mean, a husband and children outside of a desire to find a solution. There are women who were showgirls back in, who, who did. So, but here's the thing, the older you get, the more stuff you have. You have a home, you meet a man that has a home. That's a problem. Yeah, I'm, so I'm finding, right? Or their home is their mom's home. Like that can't be my problem. Where, or, but the, but the real problem is there's nothing new. At 36, you're a homeowner, you got a car, you got this, you got that. What can a man do for you at 36 that you can't do for yourself? Family. All right, but outside of that, you go to, I mean, but, but arguably, there's no, there's, what magic is still left in a relationship outside of children? And that's the one thing. How many kids do you want to have? I'd be happy with one, but I'd go for two. Well, I would tell you at 36 years old, um, something happened to me 10 years ago that shocked the shit out of me. I started getting emails and inboxes from women I knew from college and in my career. And this is when baby packs start coming out. I didn't know what these things were. And they were basically asking me, hey, would you basically be the father of my child? Do you have any male friends that you have? Because I'm, because if you're waiting to do it the old-fashioned way, it's either baby pack or matchmaker. Because you're up against time. Yeah, I won't, I won't disagree with you. I think another problem, too, is that who I'm around predominantly are women and gay men. Yep who's in circles. So it's very difficult to just meet someone who's straight. Well, I work in image and style and I will tell you, I get it. And this is why women like yourself who are in arts are going to have to either deal with the patrons of the arts or the matchmakers because you've allowed yourself to get to a point to where time is against you. And uh, this is why I say I don't believe much in love. We don't get love at our age. We, we get respect and companionship. Love is a, for 27 and under. Ouch. But why? You can grow to love somebody. I mean, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do we say ouch? I have friends, I mean, you can actually, our grandparents didn't get love. They, they met each other and courted for 90 days. They fell in love over a lifetime. This Disney stuff ain't done too well for us. 
I don't think I'm expecting a fairy tale, but I don't know how much I want somebody to grow on me. Well, <laughs> you can always buy a cat or a dog. <laughs> They'll grow on you either way, but you can't get everything, ladies. Now you're at a point in life where you got to make trade-offs. And the older you get, the more trade-offs you have to make. Because what you're asking somebody to grow on you, but they're also accepting an older wife and only one child. They don't get a young, they don't get the young 25 year old you and 10 years of your womb. So I, that's why I say self-awareness, gratitude, humility, and empathy. Modern women need to put themselves in men's position and realize what men want and what men are giving up or willing to accept by dealing with modern women. We don't get uh, Phyllis Schlafly and the Sally your homemaker and the ba and the bread. We still got to pay the bills. That's why I say 2021, the more you ladies can put yourself in the position of men, I think the more realistic the decision and expectations will be. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Dance Thank on. <laughs> it's not hard.